Hi, this is Mark Cooper, and in this quick tip, we're going to create a tab panel with groups of hidden content using shared actions in Adobe Captivate 9. In a previous quick tip, I shared how to create and hide groups of content, and if you missed that quick tip, you can find it on our YouTube channel at this address. This slide I'm working on has been prepared with buttons called Tab 1, 2, and 3, and there are some characters and captions on the slide that have been grouped and renamed. Tab 1 content is set to be visible from the start, and Tab 2 and 3 content is set to not initially visible using the I in the Properties panel next to the name of the groups. I'm going to start creating a shared action in the Action panel that will work for all three buttons. From the Project menu at the top, I'll choose Advanced Action. The action type of standard is correct, and I'll name this action 3 Tab Shared. Now to the action section where I'll set the three actions of show tab one content S1 and then two more that are going to be set to hide tab two content S1 and hide tab three content S1. These specific assignments are going to be replaced with drop down choices when I create the shared action. And let me tell you, you're going to love this. Now I'm going to click to save this as a shared action. Now in this panel, it would be best if I were to give a full description of everything I'm doing, but this is a quick tip. So let me just quickly type the instructions that I need for each action that I set up in the three fields at the bottom. The first will be tab content to show. And the next two will be set to tab content to hide. Go ahead and confirm this and return to the action panel and then simply close the action panel. Now I'm going to go through and select each button and then go to the actions option in the property panel and select execute shared action. And from there, I'll select the shared action that I just created. Now I see that there is a action parameter button and I'll click that and fill in the details for each one of my buttons. So I'm going to go in and redo those options that I set up for the first tab. And then I'll quickly do the other two tabs while I'm at it, so that tab two shows tab two content while hiding the other two. And tab three hides tab one and tab two content, but shows tab three. Now I'm gonna test my file. It all looks great, everything's working perfectly. And that's my quick tip for shared actions to create a tab panel. For more information, visit us online.